Oh, well, Pescaditos, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to take a second and talk to you about the Bonafide SS127. It's the kayak that I'm going to be running from here until, I guess until I can't anymore. But uh, anyways, I want to talk about a few things that I really like about it and then maybe one or two things that I feel like maybe it missed the mark, just based on my first impressions. So let's get started front to back. First of all, I really like the handles on both the bow and the stern. They're very solid, and when you're talking about a kayak that's uh, as heavy as this one is, you don't want something with rope or something that has any kind of give. You want something that's solid and really lets you move that weight around. And I feel like that little spider on my foot. And I feel like it uh, definitely hits the mark with that. You have the boss strap for your paddle. And overall with this kayak, I think the whole theme is that everything has a purpose and it's in place and it's easy to access, easy to use. Um, the strap for the paddle, it works just fine. I've added a Yak Attack Roto Grip just to kind of keep it solid in place to make sure that it's not pulling it out. Another big thing that sold me on this kayak is the front hatch. The hinges work both ways. So you can open it backwards or forwards and when you open it, backwards or from the front end of the kayak you can slide all of your rods into it so when I'm transporting in my truck my rods are tucked out of the way they're not in the cab they're protected no one knows they're there and, you know hopefully no one's gonna go through your kayak and try and pull something out another thing that I like about this kayak is the dry pot that it has I've got mine set up with my fish finder to where I can completely remove the fish finder when I don't want to use it or when I'm transporting it and uh, drop it back in and the best thing about the dry pot is they only cost 60 bucks so I can purchase another one and use it just for dry storage instead of my fish finder if I want to take it out on the river or something like that. Another huge feature that sold me on this kayak is the seat. It's adjustable in several different ways and when you're talking in a direct comparison to other kayaks on the market that are comparable in price and comparable in feature set, the most direct comparison would be something like the Vibe um, Shearwater 125. And I will say the Summit seat that Vibe makes that's actually an upgrade, it costs a couple extra hundred dollars, I think is a better seat than the Bonafide one as far as the features and the ways that you can set it up. But I'm really happy with this Bonafide. It gets you really high up. I think it's 10 inches off the deck or so. And even at that, it still paddles well and it still feels super stable. Bonafide really brags on the stability of this kayak and uh, I think that it's warranted. It, it's, it's extremely stable. It feels really solid on it. You can even walk on it a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to say that it has a lot of walkability, but if you're decently balanced, you can walk on it fine. Other than that, it's got a big storage compartment in the back, and it's already pre-set up for you to mount a power pole to it. One objective makes a couple of bow and stern mounts for a trolling motor if you want to do that, and it's something I'm going to consider in the future. Um, another big feature that I was looking for in my next kayak was horizontal rod storage, especially when you're out on the river floating around, going under trees. Having your rods vertical a lot of times can cause you some problems when you're in the current. And this horizontal rod storage on the Bonafide, they slide right in, it doesn't bend them, and they are secured to the side of the kayak. You don't gotta worry about going anywhere. The other kayaks that I was kind of considering looking at were some of the new canoes. And one thing that I found when I went to check them out is they bend your rods to fit the contour of the boat. And uh, yeah, it, I just didn't like that. But that's personal preference. Of course, you have your junk drawer under the seat on the Bonafide, and I found that very useful. I can almost fit, you know, the vast majority of tackle that I've used in there. I think I'm going to set it up to use it for some other stuff. Uh, which brings me to maybe one of my first kind of nitpicky things that I feel like Bonafide maybe uh, lacks a little bit in. The cover for the drunk drawer is essential, but it's not included with the kayak. So you have to spend an extra 30 bucks roughly uh, to get that cover. Um, but I mean, the shipping was quick, so there's that. Another thing that's not included on the kayak that I think uh, should be included in every kayak is scupper plugs. I don't know why some companies don't give you scupper plugs, but they don't. So uh, if you like to do that, I do a lot of winter fishing now, and um, I keep the scupper plugs in the boat. Uh, so I'm gonna have to find some. I know Yak Attack makes some good ones, and I'll put those in. You know, it'll be good to go. When I've been out on the water with this though, to be fair, on lakes and stuff, there's not really water coming up through the scupper holes. So 
not a huge issue, just a nitpicky thing really. But the long and short of it, what really sold me on this boat is just the color of it. I love this olive color with the tan deck pads. Uh, it just looks chef's kiss, very nice. And so that's why uh, I ultimately ended up going with this one. It was a model in the running, but the guys at Westbrook Kayak had this olive one in stock. They showed it to me and I said, yep, that's it. Go with that. One of the complaints that a lot of people have about this kayak, if you see it online, is the tracking of it, which all of that's going to be relative tracking speed and stuff. It's going to be relative to whatever kayak you're used to paddling. Relative to my Ascend 12T that I'm coming from, it tracks better and it paddles faster. It's just the long and short of it. Now, comparing it to something like Peter's Yellowfin 5 Yellowfin 100, yeah, I mean, it, it doesn't turn as easy. It's not as fast and uh, maybe it doesn't even track as well, but if you're 10 inches off the deck in a seat and you're paddling and you're staying in a straight line, that's a win in my book, so I'm not really complaining about it. But anyways, really looking forward to getting this thing out on the water more, shooting some videos with it. I got a big trip coming up uh, that's planned for the state parks in, so you guys should be seeing some of that soon. Um, last video we did a giveaway, and I want to take a second and let you know uh, what the winner's going to be getting and the following will be a screenshot of me selecting the winner because I'm going to use the software to do it randomly. We just did a 100 subscriber tackle giveaway or it's actively going on right now in the last video. Um, just wanted to run through what the winner is going to be getting. I'm about to select and you'll see that after this but I'm going to mail you some tackle and the things that I'm going to be mailing you are a Yozuri Crystal Minnow, classic year-round bait, a Weston Hypo Twist, which is a top water bait, kind of like a lobber. A Bomber Fat Free Fingerling in Pearl, Pearl White that is, and that's uh, about a mid-depth crankbait. I want to say that this runs 8 to 10 feet roughly. Tungsten Finesse Peanut Jig in uh, Midnight Special, or excuse me, Magic Special quarter ounce that's something I'm really wanting to try to get into this year and start fishing more is uh, jigs and then specifically finesse jigs uh, classic rooster tail you know you gotta have one of those if uh, you don't fish a rooster tail what are you doing and then a couple of soft plastics uh, one being some big bite baits uh, it's a it's a uh, brush hog essentially whatever their version of that is um, and green pumpkin, you know, good color, classic. And then, per my short, I was fishing with the uh, green pumpkin purple bandito bugs. So I've thrown in a pack of green pumpkin purple, green pumpkin purple cracking crawls. Crawls one of my favorite soft plastics to throw, especially in the river. So hopefully, uh, if you got a river near you and this is coming your way, you might catch a few on the Guggen Squad green pumpkin purple cracking crawl. We're gonna do another giveaway, uh, probably, let's see, we'll go 250 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure that you're commenting and liking the videos. And uh, yeah, let's find out who won the tackle giveaway for the 100 subscribers. Okay, I wanted to uh, screen record this section just so everyone will know that a random comment was actually being selected. Using this YouTube random comment picker. And we're gonna go over to our video and select Copy and paste that into here, and let's select random comment. There are 27 comments that it looks like it's picking from, and I think we just go over here and pick a random winner. And it looks like angling spiders so I'm gonna reply to your comment on that video angling spiders uh, all you need to do is message me on either Instagram or you can shoot me an email or something and let me know that you want the tackle and give me an address to send it to and I'll shoot it your way so congrats